to Dorsey May Gaming here. Well, Andre Dorsey with DM Gaming. And I want to talk about a serious subject. This is aside from video games. This is aside from uh, the Dragon Ball uploads, everything that we've been doing on the channel. Um, I want to talk to the uh, small YouTubers like myself who, who are out there and um, trying to make it big. Um, I've noticed in my time on YouTube that there is a stark difference between the big time YouTubers and the smaller YouTubers. And when I say big, I mean, maybe I'd say in my, in my opinion, a hundred thousand subs or more. Um, I've had some good interactions with some subscribers. I mean, some YouTubers that have, you know, 50,000 and a little bit less than that. Uh, so that's why I'm saying 100,000 and more. Um, if you're a small YouTuber, it is imperative for your success that you define what is success to you. Um, if you get on YouTube and you're looking at these guys who have a million subscribers, who have 500,000 subscribers, who has 100,000 subscribers, you know, and you're, you're gauging that as this is successful, then I'm not going to say you're going to have a hard time, but it's going to make it a lot um, harder to be, uh, to do YouTube. I'm not going to say to be successful at it, because like I said, success is defined by you. And the reason I say that is this, like right now our channel is sitting at about 1,200 subscribers. Y'all don't know the channel. Y'all don't watch my channel. I went through something um, with a job situation about three, four months ago. And I was basically away from YouTube for like three months. And that crippled the channel. Not to mention the live stream was taken down for three months. Um, and so, you know, I hit a stumbling block. But uh, prior to that, I mean, we were averaging about 100 subscribers a week, you know, about four to 500 a month. So, you know, we could have very easily been at over 1,500 by now. Easily, if not more than that. Well, more than that for sure, I know. Uh, but, you know, with that being said, it's slowed down a lot. And one thing that I've looked at, um, a good friend of mine, well, I call him a good friend. I don't know him personally, y'all, but as far as YouTube is concerned, I would consider him a good friend because um, he does communicate with me and he's given me a lot of advice. And that's uh, back pocket, Nick, Nick from Back pocket game reviews um when i was working at gamestop and i was kicking up my youtube channel i wanted to do a collaboration with nick um because i watched his videos i liked his content and you know i wanted to kind of get um do a collaboration to to kind of help get some exposure and he wouldn't do it he would not do it and i'm not gonna lie i was upset and i and i think nick knows i was upset but he told me you know you don't want to start your channel off like that nor do you want to start your channel off by doing a bunch of giveaways. And even though I was upset because I wanted to do the collaboration, um, I listened to him and he was right. And I look at where our channel is at now. And while we don't have the most subscribers by any means, I know my subscribers. There's, there's, I mean, I guess with every channel, you're gonna have people who are pretty much always there in the live streams and the videos and things like that. Um, I could name a lot of them. I know Trevor, Trevor has been very influential to our channel. Um, you got Trevor, you got Alexander, you got Antonio, you got Carrie, you got Prospect Watcher, Relocation Stops in from time to time. Um, you got Chris. Chris is hilarious, man. Chris. And then Tim, me and Tim get into it a lot. Not really, but Tim be saying some off the wall stuff. Uh, Goat, can't forget Goat, you know. Um, um, Cam, the other Cam. Um, I know I'm missing some people, man. If I'm missing y'all, I'm sorry, but, um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good group of guys, man. And this, and, and there's some girls in there too. And, and we have a good time, you know, and do I wish that I had a bigger channel? Yeah. Am I trying to grow? Of course. I think it would be ill-advised to be on YouTube and not trying to grow. Um, but I had recently got frustrated because, you know, I've been reaching out to some bigger YouTubers. I've been going after the Goliaths, you know, people that are doing the same content as me, uh, either in Madden or even with Dragon Ball, you know, reaching out to people like Geeked and One on One, uh, reaching out to people like Rhyme Style, Siri X, J Dantastic, um, in the Madden community, uh, Sim, been reaching out to him, Sports Gamers Online. We were supposed to do a collaboration with them, uh, but they wouldn't, they wasn't going to put the video on their channel. Yeah. 
as big as of a channel as they are, they wanted us. I mean, I was definitely going to put it on mine, but they didn't want to put the video on their channel. So it didn't happen. And it really upset me. It rubbed me the wrong way because, you know, why not? You know, I, I guess, you know, some some people, it, I mean, at the end of the day, this is their livelihood. Some people's livelihood. This is a business. Um, so you can't expect people to, and listen to what I'm telling you, you can't expect people to help you get exposure. As, as much as you would like it, as much as some of these guys did get where they at through exposure and how a lot of them really just worked their butts off and, and caught a lucky break and, and got some good quality content. And then while some of them just literally worked their butts off and grinded for years to get to where they at, at the end of the day, it is a business. And a lot of big time YouTubers see what you don't, you don't realize this, but you being a small YouTuber, they see you as competition, whether they want to say it or not, because if they didn't, you would see them reaching out to smaller YouTubers. And that's why I make it a point. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, do unto other people if you would have them do unto you. You know, you can ask anybody in the community that we, I have no issues giving shout outs. I have no issues helping to promote other people's channels because we all trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? And people who are on YouTube, this is the truth. Nobody on YouTube only watches one channel. And me, myself, I'm a person that I like to get a lot of different opinions on different things. So I like to watch different channels that may talk about the same thing. You know, so, you know, the whole competition thing, well, if they're watching your channel, they're not watching mine type of thing, or, oh, I might lose a sub, like, nah, man, I have no issue promoting other people's channels, I have no issues um, giving shout outs, helping people to get subscribers, whatever I gotta do, because it's a community thing, that goes a long way, I know a couple of people started their YouTube channel, um, Boots, I can't forget Boots, y'all, some names coming to mind to some guys that's that's been in the chat and stuff like that um you know alexander um uh, started his channel you know and he's been doing good uh cam killer gaming you know he was on the live stream y'all and it was pretty funny he got in trouble but he's still out there grinding he's still out there doing it jay i can't forget my boy jay man jay out in virginia what's up man can't forget oyo you know chi k been in the chat real real good and real steady, man. It's a lot of people that's very influential to our channel, and there is a sense of community. So for you small YouTubers, you need to establish that first. You need to establish a sense of community because one thing is, like, we will be in the live chat, y'all. We don't allow no cussing on the channel at all because it's a business, and I'm trying to get advertisers. I'm trying to get this channel growing so that we can do things, so we can have giveaways, so we can do stuff like that. And trust me, if you say you're going to do a giveaway, you need to do a giveaway. Everybody on the channel will tell you, if I do a giveaway, I, I do a real giveaway. You can ask some people. Um, but you don't want to base your channel on that. Because what's going to happen is early on, like Back Pocket Gamer told me, you'll have people that subscribe just for their giveaway and they don't actually watch your videos. And that is very important because if people aren't watching your videos, YouTube is going to drop them. I've had my... My subscriber base fluctuate because of people who were, you know, no longer watching videos and stuff, you know, or whatever, whatever the case may be. But step one is to get build a sense of community. You need a foundation. Um, some people will tell you to get one topic and stick with it. I don't do that because there's no rule book that says that what I'm doing isn't going to work. We talk about some of everything, y'all. We talk about real life issues uh, through the chats and stuff like that. And in the videos, mostly, it's a gaming channel. We talk a lot about video games. It started out real strong with Madden, y'all. But there's so many more games that I like and I care about that I'm starting to incorporate those things. I'm starting to incorporate Dragon Ball Z into the channel because I look at my channel as this. This should be the one stop. You know, I'll, I'll look at it as a TV station. A TV station doesn't just show one program. It shows several different programs. So with that being said, y'all, get you a sense of community. Find something that you really enjoy doing because it's going to be days where you don't feel like making a video. So you definitely want to make sure that you're doing something that you enjoy doing. And the biggest step to me, the third, the, the biggest step of it all is when you're doing a video, do it as if you got 100,000 people watching. You can go watch some of our live streams, and there is literally maybe one or two people watching, and it was my son and my wife. And now, you know, we before the three-month thing, we got up to having like 50, almost 100-some people in there, you know? So 
and and now it's it's just consistent that people are tuning in for the DM Gaming Morning Show and all kinds of things. People are on Twitter, get active on social media and stuff like that. And like I said, if you're doing live streams or even if you're doing videos, put it out there. Put it out there and talk to that camera as if there's 100,000 people watching your video. And it will show in due time. See what I'm saying? So community, community first. Find something that you enjoy doing. And most importantly, do it as if you are doing it to a million, 100,000, 200,000, however many subscribers you plan to have. Those three things to me is what makes small channels successful and also sticking together, helping other people because that comes back to you in a big way. Might not be in the way of subscribers or something like that, but in some way, shape, form, or fashion in life in general, helping others will help you. That's all I got for right now, y'all. I hope this video has been helpful. Kind of give a little insight for the small YouTubers um, to come together to help build each other up and, and, you know, just climb that ladder together instead of being like crabs in a bucket pulling each other down. Till next time, y'all.